of it. Was the Lane Norton. I know Lane Norton. Well, Great. Next train with Lane. Yeah. So. so it's a very small circle, yes. the evidence based crowd. Yeah. And yes. to touch base with somebody, especially in Merseyside, that follows the evidence based crowd is <laughs> very difficult. Yeah. Um, and it's a very touchy subject, like for me to turn around and find out whether you as a, a food company are given the right information which is evidence-based which is like this big on google compared to google is really really yeah. difficult another day another vlog No, I want to carry on from there. I'm just going to like cut that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> so priorities moved a little bit away from vlogging because we've had to focus on getting the gym ready. So currently Friday the 14th of April. Um, found a couple of minutes to quickly do this vlog, and this is I'm going to leave you with a clip from a meeting with Peel and Coconut, a meal prep company. Um, that's ready to go on in a minute. You'll see it and we have connected with many food prep companies they've uh, tested we've tested the food we've chatted with them a couple of vlogs back you, you'll notice we connected with uh, another really good food prep company um he was good some of them are very bad some of them are very good and of course we've got to make sure that the food prep company that we're supplying to our customers here and through empower eating are is really really good so we chatted with the team, we come up with a like, kind of list of what we want and what we need and decided to choose uh, Peel and Coconut uh, who are over in Liverpool. Uh, very talented, very talented team. They've got vans on the roads, they've got a, a, a base where they're working from. They're supplying us with a fridge here. Um, lots of other stuff within the deal which is good. They're very professional and as you'll see from this interview we kind of asked them a lot of questions to make sure that they're doing the right thing and supplying the right food to our customers. Um, one of the important thing was that they can cope with the demand because we've been, um, we found out that we're going to have a lot of members by the looks of it by this bit of marketing we've done. So we need to make sure they can cope with the demand um, and they've given us a good deal. So one of the things you'll see in this interview is that we uh, want the ability for people who want to track macros can track macros and we want to make sure that the food they supply have, have the macros tracked and they're accurate so I tested the food I'm even, I'm, I'm, I wasn't going to tell them this but I weighed all the food as well to check it was the right weight and it was so the macros were spot on so I was happy with that um, so what I'll do now is leave you with the collaboration meeting to have a little nosy behind the scenes of what happens in my business life, so to speak. So this is going to be a really big gym. Yeah, it's big, isn't it? Big, big space. It's great space. It's not yet. This is going to be the Astro area. Um, sorry. Sweet. This is going to be the Astro area. Uh, over there is going to be all the weights. We've got six squat racks. It's it's going to be that. So it's nice. Thanks for coming over, by the way. Um, I know it's a bit of a journey for you. Yeah. I brought one of them. I know I sent you an email. Yeah. But that's what everyone gets as well. Okay. The of the week. So basically and they get all the carbs and the fats yeah, and the proteins. So then they'll just piece it together yeah. it was in there. So, it's so like, I'll, be, I'll be, be honest with you. Basically, I messaged you on the same day as I messaged somebody else That's fine. Um, who I know, and That's you fine. got recommended to me by <clears throat> excuse me, a guy on uh, Instagram who's followed me for a little while. Yeah. And I've spoke to the other company, and I've spoke to you. I'm going to speak to you guys now and kind of just see what we can do. That's fine, me there's no reason for it being 100% one or 100% the other, but of course, it's there's a lot of people doing what you do. Yeah. Um, totally. So it's, it's a, this is this is to get a chat and see. Just touch base. Exactly what. Yeah. We've not confirmed with anybody yet. No. Um, so we're just there. I mean, I, um, I just want to know what your obviously you said collaboration. I want to know what your idea of collaboration is pretty much. Um, what do you see? What do you think it would be? Well, there's a few options, obviously. You so tell me about what, what it is. What do you do? What, what, it's just, you, you've just got, you're both in the business together. There's three of us. Three of you. Guy, but obviously, he couldn't be here today, unfortunately. But So we're purely delivery at the moment. Right. We deliver wherever they need it. House, office, gyms. Um, and it's, but background, though, from <coughs> how we 
we've come. Oh yeah, it's a good story, like. So, <laughs> Ray, myself, and Danny, we've all worked for uh, a company called Living Ventures for okay. about ten or fifteen years together. Uh, we all have different strengths in what we do. Yeah. As in, Ray's obviously being head chef. Danny's being head of all the bars, and I obviously work front of house. Um. So the way we work, company ethos and stuff like that, we've got a really, really mm. strong feeling for customer service, attention to detail, okay. making sure that the clients are constantly monitoring. So one of my one of my big things is um, to know that you've hit forty one grams of protein, eighteen yeah. grams of carbs, three grams of fat, is to make sure that that's kind of a bit. You know, you're definitely weighing the chicken going in and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. That's a big thing. Um, Can I just add, is, are you still, still PTing yourself? I do, yeah, I do a lot of yeah. coaching and stuff like uh, that. And clients, have you got quite a bit of quite. specific who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. So what we do is I've got an online company empowered by eating as well. <coughs> yeah. So we've got, a, you, you guys are familiar with flexible dieting? Yes. Macro nice tracking, stuff. yeah. <laughs> so, That's what I'm all about. <laughs> yeah. Literally just been talking about that funny enough on the way over. So it's a very strange industry where if you, where, where, let, let's just talk about that. Where does your knowledge base come from on macro? So for me, I've obviously, I've gone through the ranks of, from paleo, Charles Bolton, but I say practitioner with him. And I've done a two year mentorship down at Body Development with Tom Crutchinson. It was all Parkland based. And then obviously I've gone through all that no carb shit, paleo shit to obviously being mentored by Nick Cheever in Australia as well now, so. Right, okay. Um, so that's, um, when you start saying all the other stuff and then you get to Nick, it's like, okay, right, so, so now so we know where we are, I'm the same. So yeah. I've done all of that. So I'm a huge fan of Nick Cheever. Um, 3GMJ, yeah. do you know them guys? I don't know. Uh, Alan, Al Alan Aragon? I've heard his name. Lane Norton? I know Lane Norton. Well, Great. Nick, uh, Nick trained with Lane. Yeah, so, so it's a very small circle, the evidence-based crowd. Yeah, and absolutely to touch base with somebody, especially in Merseyside, that follows the evidence-based crowd is very <laughs> difficult. Yeah. Um, and it's a very touchy subject, like, for me to turn around and find out whether you as a, a food company are given the right information, which yeah. is evidence-based, which is like this big on Google compared to Google mm. is really, really yeah. difficult. So to, to, to know that, like Nick's obviously followed the right people. Um, is yeah. amazing. Good guy. Um, so yeah, it's it's nice to hear that from the back end of from, from the back of the company, which means this is going to be the right numbers because you want it to be the right numbers. Yeah, yeah. So that's important for me. We've got athletes and stuff like that on board, but it's more just for the general person, to the general, but the normal person, so to speak, here. Um, but the people I do coach online across the world really is yeah. more athletes and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, but we don't really focus on that. I've stopped doing bodybuilding prep. I've stopped doing. Um, it's relaxed a bit now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm not really focusing on them anymore. Even though I'm an actual bodybuilder myself, it's mm. more the um, the general public who is really confused by by Google. <laughs> if you think about those people, just constantly. I mean, I'm not. Look, I feel quite blessed that I'm old school. I don't ask Google anything, to be honest with you. Yeah. You'll vouch for that. Um, well, it's broken now. Yeah, Google's it's broken. It's, just, it's, it's, just, it's broken yeah, by opinion. It's a bit of a with yeah. that side, but um, when people want to, if they've got a sore ear or something, they're diagnosed if they've got cancer in their ear. Or, yeah. it's, 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 <laughs> Google's like that to me. It's just yeah. really, you know, uh, really so, um, so yeah, for me, sometimes it's just people do Google too much. A lot of, a lot of the, the issue with Google is the more effort you put into trying to become healthy and fit the more work you put into that through listening to other people and talking and reading magazines and going on google the more bullshit ends up in the head and eventually that becomes yeah space. that that for the person the general public that becomes so it's too intense intense and ridiculous that they they don't know what to eat and what to do and then all of my coaching realistically is just going don't worry about that don't worry about that don't do it just get your calories right get your macros right <clears throat> Don't worry too much about when you eat at what time. You know, you can eat before bed, yeah, you know. Yeah. General population, um, they don't need to know all that massive. So it's like macro tracking. Our, our online system goes, we've got five levels. Level one is just calories. Yeah. And a massive load of myth busting. Yeah. And that's all level one is. So they get through all of the videos and they answer all the questions to make yeah. sure they know the knowledge. Your average weight tracking and stuff yeah. like that. 
you get through to level two, and then we start talking about protein and fiber. Yeah. So then you've got calories, protein, yeah. and fiber. Yeah. Then we start talking about some other little bits and bobs and getting your, uh, your uh, water intake right. And yeah. da -da 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 -da. Little stuff. And then by the end, to get into level three, then they start talking about carbs, fats, proteins, fiber. Yeah. If you want to, yeah. you know, you can just stick with protein yeah. and carbs. Just easing people in. Yeah, so yeah. then, well, by the time it gets to level three and four, you know, we're talking about really advanced stuff then. Um, pro muscle protein yeah. synthesis yeah. and all this stuff, yeah. and protein refractory period, and all really geeky stuff that's not necessary for anyone. Like, and people are going around. I mean, also, the But that, that was conclusion, yeah. So people are getting to like level three or four of the system, and it's charged, we're charging them like a tenner a month for that. And they might cancel after three months because they got there. And they're like, this is getting too much now. And we tell them in the, during the videos, right, this is like really advanced now. We're talking about like stuff for an athlete here, you can continue if you want, or just follow the stuff in level one. So there might be some sort of collaboration there, depending on your following base. And we can, we can, we do take partners on. So we've got about five or six partners, but they have to have the same message, which is what you've got, the evidence-based method. Uh, methods so we've partnered with gyms and stuff like that so there is some sort of click through if you wanted to educate people on how yeah. to flexible diet yeah. you can go on your website you can have a button that clicks through yeah. and then it goes um, you get some sort of percentage yeah. uh, different for different people second to that um, you mentioned you haven't got a website yet have you no we just we're setting up a holding page at the moment so we've got a um, a web designer that we've we, it doesn't charge like ten thousand pounds for a website or seven thousand pounds. He charges like fifty to hundred pound a month. Yeah. You kind of tie into a three month contract with him. That's who's done all my websites. You tied into a three month contract with him with him and from that. And he's he does the SE the search engine optimization, he makes the website. I I don't know I don't I can't get his structure of how he does it, but if he gets a hundred websites paying him fifty quid a month. Yeah, he's made a lot of money. But he's absolutely quality. He's there for you on Facebook Messenger, he does video chats. You'll go you'll go, um I don't know, my email's not working and you'll go, let's have a do a video chat. Boom, when he's there and you're like, oh, okay and you'll be like, just click that or you'll do a screen share and you're like what? You don't. He's not in England. He's in Germany. He's, oh, he's, he's okay. one of my real good mates. Yeah. So we can help you there if you wanted. Yeah, yeah. So there's a bit of collaboration there. And of course, if we're doing that and we're making your website amazing, we've got all the search engine optimization. We've got Empowered by Eating on there. We get more click-throughs, so it's mm -hmm. beneficial to us yeah. that, that way. Um, and you get the benefit of a cool website um, without the confusion of going around the UK trying to find a web designer because it's really hard. Yeah, it is. Um, it's and expensive. So we can help you there. Now, yeah. food. What can you offer me or us as a gym, separate to, the, to that, what we said? So for your personal? Not necessarily me, the gym. So if we had fridge here, it had a selection of foods. Ideally, you would sort out delivery. We could send you a daily or two daily text. Yeah. You sort out delivery, the food gets put in there. You could turn up at whatever time during the day that to fill the fridge up it goes in the customers buy it would probably go through our till and then obviously there'd be some sort of commission structure in there okay. or whatever so you want the fridge obviously fill with our food to sell from here yeah okay that's fine so obviously then my, then my the own options. then my own stuff yeah and a couple of athletes potentially okay um for me i'm just like literally i haven't got any time to cook or breathe or anything yeah, like yeah. so <laughs> so obviously so you'd want some type, so if we fed you for argument's sake, it's, 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 what would you be looking at, some type of rental agreement, or are you just purely... I'm open. So open. whatever, so what, Completely so you've open. got anything in, in mind that you'd be... So that's, if we were to put a fridge in, for argument's sake, yeah. I'm, I'm seeing both of our logos on the fridge, potentially. Yeah. Okay. And then I would imagine you'd want something for us to be sending food down here, okay. or... You're saying you're going to take commission from each sale, and I guess that's. This is a discussion that is completely open. Sure, you're open. That's that's fine. We will. I mean, We've got. Um, you're based in Liverpool, aren't you? And you haven't yeah. got a space to work from. <clears throat> Um, we have got a room to rent down there. Yeah, we, we no, we've, we've got two kitchens. You've got two kitchens, right, okay. Kitchens, yeah, we've got a room to rent. That probably doesn't fit. Um, we can have a space for a fridge. That does fit. You could potentially rent a space for the fridge, and we sell it. Yeah. You could pay commission and then yeah. sell it, but then we've got to consider uh, <coughs> wastage and things like yeah. that. Yeah. We've got um, a potential of 
we, we've got over 110 people as of well one week of marketing ready to sign up for the uh, we've got a 50 founder member program and we've had 110 sign up to that and we're like oops it went really really quickly and a yeah. bit more than we expected because the market <laughs> the marketing's good yeah. um so behind the back of that we uh, to open we should be packed so just secondly to that we've got an open weekend where there's a potential for you to display yeah, you can capture capture some video footage you can have it <coughs> as a uh, use it as a good bit of marketing um we can help you with that we've got, we've got an in-house video guy so i think for i mean selling selling from here is fine I re my original idea was more of a hub based so obviously you know people sign up for the, for the packages and then we deliver the food here okay. for them to collect right basically so a collection more so okay I don't know how messy it would get if we tried to, I don't like you mentioned wastage, things like that. Yeah. That could be controlled more if we've just got people signing, signing up. up. And then we're delivering the food, keeping the yeah. fridge for people to take away when they're finished. So they're doing. on the back of that, a lot of my, if I'm eating it and if I'm using my, I don't need to see my vlog, have you? I've got a vlog online. No. Basically, the v you know what vlogging is, right? So a vlogger like Video. captures his yeah. day, yeah. captures his day, yeah. puts it into like a, a what's going on, so you can see. It. And of course, I'm going to be eating in that, and then people are going to see it, yeah. Yeah. have exposure. There's going to be signs up wherever we decide. This is just, I'm just wondering this idea now. Yeah. Signs will be up. Yeah. People then ring you, order, you drop off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It works. It would, it would certainly combat <laughs> the wasting. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. less hassle for both parties. Really, yeah. because you're going to. You know, if we've got people signing up the packages, maybe we could try and incorporate some type of collaboration where if they're a gym member, they get two months off the food, or yeah. likewise, if there's people that we're, we get other clients that are from the will, but they're not necessarily a member of your gym, they could pick up from here. Potentially, they'll see the gym they didn't know was the end. That would yeah, increase more. sales increase for us. Yeah. 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 So, I'm feeling like this would help me, um, this would help us as a gym in, in many ways. And it also, if we help you with a better marketing there and you help us with a better marketing there, it's a nice collaboration. That's a collaboration that. straight away there. How long have you been going? We've been we're into our seventh month now. Seventh month, okay. Yeah, it is going. So, it's literally today we just got our vans all done. All done. Yeah. Yeah. Which I'll show you now. Uh -huh. Do what he's still doing. Ray's does all that about the borders and stuff, so it's part of his system. Yeah, it's, 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 it's really good. Good. So we're obviously, it's it's still, in, actually, I'll show you the ones. We're also doing the kids, we're going to launch a kids version as well soon, so we want to be trying to do kids healthy meals as well. This is very interesting, okay. Which we're going to call kids and coconut. <laughs> so we've got why, that. Why peel and coconut? Well, originally we were going to be kale and coconut. Right. And then we found out when we were getting a trademark to someone called kale and cocoa. Okay. So it was kind of put the blockers on that. But it just so happened that where we run from is on Peel Street. So I was like, Peel, kale, it's not too far away. So Peel and coconut it was. And there's a bit of a story behind the peel now because it's where we began. And okay. Nice. So get it How do you peel a coconut? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's like peel reference to everything. So that's that's one side with nice. peeling coconuts on it. Sorry, I'm not doing this. Right. We cool. tried to keep our very, brand um, very simple. And you know, it's 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 it's, it's modern marketing. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. And then obviously the other side is we've got a little bit more colourful for the kids. For the kids. Kids and coconut. It is. It's real good. Real it's good. massive yeah. in, the, in the media at the moment. Yeah. It's, just it's very good. It's this is something I'd like to do to be fair. Yeah. And something that I haven't got enough um, passion behind the cooking side of it. That's yeah. why we've been in the industry for so long. Um, you always want to do it, like because yeah. we're, all, we're yeah. all passionate about yeah. you know the, the hospitality. It's side. almost a perfect team yeah. mm. for the, with the tables. The three pound the right. always perfect. You got the chef, the PT. And the business from now, so I just started a bad joke, doesn't yeah. it? But it, it's we're, we're working together really yeah. well, and we all we all offer something yeah. different. It's not like there's three chefs, yeah, because that'd just be nightmare. Like, Same there's three PTs, yeah. there'd always be a conflict, but because there's three of us, yeah, 
someone can always give another opinion and bring something else yeah, in. Like it, it feels worse, you know what I mean? I'm, I practice what I preach anyway, so oh, exactly. you practice what I preach. That's what I do. Yeah. Wow. So, I mean, if we were to put the fridge in then, obviously then, it's not going to be commissioned because we'll be selling the else from here. If we, if we were to run with the whole whole thing, yeah. what would you expect from us? Would you want us to feed you? Potentially just feed you? For, and how many of you involved? There's me and Thea. Um, so she's pretty much doing the same as me. I'm not sure if she'd be interested in that. Uh, yeah. I am. It, it's, the I'm obvious, just, yeah. it's the obvious starting point, isn't it? We yeah. feed you. Um, but that's going to market it, and um, yeah. obviously um, it wouldn't necessarily mean all the time feeding me. Yeah. Um, yeah. I eat, I'm prepping now mm -hmm. myself, so I'm eating a lot of veg. Yeah. So whatever your meal would be, would probably be on top of 150 grams of spinach. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'd have a bowl and I'd be like, thanks, don't eat all that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, 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 I'm yeah. or I'd add probably 300 grams of broccoli oh. to it. Yeah. So that's kind of where I am. Are you happy with the pump? Yeah. Um, be probably end of the year, yeah. July, August, September. Um, I've been prepping since like November now, like a nice pound a week, half a pound a week loss. It doesn't really matter if you're tracking your macros, is it really been it? Um, I'm 16 or 17 pounds down now. Um, well, probably about another 20 to go. <laughs> well, this is that, that, schedule, this is, the hard, this is the hard bit. <laughs> that bit was easy. Like, um, it's so hard to. For me, I've struggled to put my son in my sleep. You're the opposite, yeah? Yeah, I'm so the opposite. I can make gains quite easily, mm. but I can get fucking eat food all day long. But then to, to lose weight's hard for me, because my history is I was a fad dieter, did all of the bad diets, and did like every possible diet you could possibly think of, I did it, which caused eating disorders for yeah. me. So I ended up, when I was like 20, I'm 33 now, when I was 20, I ended up being a binge eater, and I was eating two or three boxes of Cocoa Pops in a row, that went on for like ages until I started exploring away from Google and into more evidence-based practice. And that's what empowerment eating is all based on: is is people that have got the same issues as, as I have, which is <clears throat> accidentally nice binge eating. To, it's actually nice to hear somebody say because I I've got probably this issue. <clears throat> well, if you're getting nice told from someone who's been there yeah, as well, you we can do yeah, that. Yeah, I tell my yeah. clients all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So. I think it's the most important thing to be open and, and be able to be vulnerable mm. as well. Like, yeah, I'm just totally just, open with it. Yeah. I mean, I've got, a, a, over the past, say, five years, I've done a lot of personal development work, a lot of mindset stuff, I've read a, a, the most ridiculous amount of books, and that has changed my whole psyche to the point where I literally it's nice, don't... It's nice to hear. I literally don't care what people think anymore. Yeah. I just care about me being happy inside, yeah. and I'm happy on a 24-hour-a-day yeah. yeah. basis now. And that's what the world is about. There's a lot of PTs out there who speak <clears throat> the way you do and, you know, they've got... I want... I want to... Oh, yeah, Matt, yeah. 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 I want to yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna help a lot more PTs because if I, if I help PTs and I help other gyms, yeah. what happens then is it starts then changing oh, the industry and we start then affecting thousands and millions of people. Uh, yeah. I, want, I want a million people helped over the next, like, three to five years. Yeah. And that is a ridiculous goal to have and there's is many avenues there's yeah. many avenues that we still connect with people <clears throat> like you guys it's yeah. another avenue of people that yeah. i'm having an influence on yeah. you are then having an influence on people so we're coming together and we're helping people have a healthy healthier relationship with food do being happier do enjoying life they've got a better mindset they're not affected by the market the marketing world making them think that they've got to buy things to be happy